Welcome to clickmyprojects.com. Here we discuss about automatic image equalization and contrast enhancement using Gaussian mixer modeling. Computer image editing programs often offer basic automatic image enhancement features that correct color hue and brightness imbalances. Image editors have provisions to create an image histogram of the image being edited. The histogram plots the number of pixels in the image with a particular brightness value. Algorithms in the digital editor allows the user to visually adjust the brightness values of the each pixels and to dynamically display the results as adjustments are made. Thus improvements in picture brightness and contrast be obtained. In computer graphics, the process of improving the quality of the digitally stored image by manipulating the image with software, it is quite easy. For example, to make an image lighter or darker or to increase or decrease contrast. Advanced photo enhancement software also supports many filters for alternating images in various ways. Programs specialized for image enhancement are sometimes called image editors. The aim of image enhancement is to improve the interpretability or perceptions of information in images for human views or to provide better input for other automated image processing techniques. Image enhancement techniques can be divided into two broad categories. One, spatial domain methods and two, frequency domain methods. In spatial domain methods, it operates directly on pixels. In frequency domain methods, it operates on the Fourier transformation of an image. Unfortunately, there is no general theory for determining what is good image enhancement when it comes on human perception. If it looks good, it is good. However, when image enhancement techniques are used as pre-processing tools, for other image processing techniques, then quantitatively measured can determine which techniques are most appropriate. Histogram equalization is a method in image processing of contrast adjustment using the image's histogram. This method usually increases the global contrast of many images, especially when the usable data of the image is represented by close contrast values. Through this adjustment, contrast enhancement attempts to increase the appearance of large-scale light-dark transition similar to how sharpening with a unsharp mask increases the appearance of small-scale edges. In image equalization, there are many algorithms which perform an automatic enhancement of contrast and histogram equalization. In our project, we use the Gaussian mixer model to equalize the histogram and enhancement our image. Here, the Gaussian components are used to partition the dynamic range of the image into input gray level intervals. Here, the contrast equalized image is generated by transforming the pixels gray level in each input intervals to the appropriate output gray level interval according to the dominant Gaussian components under the cumulative distribution function of the input interval. This is the flow diagram of our project. Here, we, by using the Gaussian mixer model, we enhance the image contrast and histogram equalization. Here, this was done by using the Gaussian components. In the first step, we given the input image and we estimate the size of the given image by calculating their sample values whether this given image is grayscale or RGB color image. Then this image pixels is given to modeling step. In the modeling step, a GMM can model any data distribution in terms of the linear mixer of different Gaussian distribution with different parameters. Each of the Gaussian parameters 
has a different mean standard deviation and proportion in the mixer model. A Gaussian components with low standard deviation and large weight represents compact data with a dense distribution around the mean value of the component. When the standard deviation becomes larger, the data is depressed about its mean value. The human eye is not sensitive to small variation around dense data but is more sensitive to widely scattered fluctuations. Thus, in order to increase the contrast while retaining image details, dense data with low standard deviation should be dispersed, whereas scattered data with high standard deviation should be compacted. This operation should be done so that the grade level distribution is retained. Then, this was given to partitioning states. In this stage, the significant intersecting points are selected from all the possible intersections between the Gaussian components. The intersection points of two components are independent of the order of the component. All possible intersection points that are within the dynamic range of the image are detected. Then these components are separated. Thus, the partitioning was done. Then this was given to mapping states. In mapping, the interval from k is equal to 1 to k minus 1, that is, first pixel to lost pixels of the given image is mapped onto the dynamic range of the output image. In the mapping, each interval covers a certain range, which is proportional to weight. Since the human eye is more sensitive to sudden changes in widely scattered data and less sensitive to smooth changes in densely scattered data gives larger weights to widely scattered data and vice versa. The final mapping from X stage to Y stage is achieved by considering all Gaussian components in the GMM to retain the pixel distribution in input and output intervals equal by using the superposition of distribution. The proposed image linearly transforms the gray levels so that the image features are easily discernible. Finally, we extract the enhanced image. Next, this was extended to color images also. One approach to extend the gray contrast enhancement to color images is to apply the method to their luminance components only and preserve the color chrominance components. And another is to multiply the chrominance values with a ratio their input and output luminance value to preserve the hue. The inverse transformation is then applied to obtain the contrast enhanced RGB image. Now I am going to explain the running process of our project. Now just run main.m file. Here it gets the input from user. I select that image. It extracts the Gaussian feature points from the selected images. These images are considered as a pixel matrices and it provides the histogram plots from the input image. Here it generates the histogram plots for the input given image. These plots gives the information for each and every pixels whether the pixel levels or which points and total number of pixels present in the gray level. Then from this it extracts the Gaussian components and arranges it in uh, tables. These values are represented here, pixel partitioned values. Then from these values, it equalizes the histogram values for the image and finally, we enhance the contrast for the given image. Thus, we enhance the contrast value for the input image and equalize the histogram for the image by using Gaussian mixer model. Since the Gaussian mixer model is a segmentation process, but here we using the Gaussian mixer model as an image enhancement process. Thank you.